Um, uh, I, I gotta do this. I gotta, I gotta make sure I apologize to the university, uh, President Shalala, starting with her first. You know, for everything that happened, everything that she had to go through during this time, and then uh, the fans want to apologize for, you know, something that happened our freshman year. We, you know, we were all young, but still no excuse for what happened, and uh, then apologize to this team for everything that that's been going down and. Uh, you know, putting them through the things they had to go through during this hard time. So I just want to make sure I apologize to everyone. Corey, what's going through your mind as you're watching the game the other night? Uh, I literally got sick the other night. Um, it was hard to watch. I probably had an anxiety attack because I was my heart was pounding. I was just anxious for those those guys to be out there on the field and uh, play the game, but I also wanted to be out there with them. Do you think you were treated fairly by the NCAA, Jacory, the suspension? I have no comment on that. I really, I really wouldn't want to say anything about that right now. Thoughts on having your starting job back? Um, you no, know, it's always a, a great, great thing to have a starting job, but you just got to go out there and do something with it now. And uh, that's what I've been doing, been preparing with this team, uh, been concentrating on the things that we have at hand with Ohio State coming up next. And uh, just leading this team by example and uh, through through the small things, just uh, executing, just small things like operation, uh, make sure we get in and out of the huddle, push the tempo, just having fun out down the field. I told us yesterday that, or I'm sorry, whatever day it was, that, that, he, you won the, that you won the job during camp. And to that point, he'd always said that you and Steven had pretty much been neck and neck. And yesterday he came out and pretty openly said that you won the job in August. When you got told you were the starter, did that surprise you at all? Or were you guys still kind of waiting to see what the results of everything were? Uh, I really wasn't paying attention to anything. Um, I just went out here every day with Steven and competed um, like I was a starter. And so did Steven. So that when we do come to a game time situation, we'll be prepared no matter what. And you're seeing that Steven went out there, he had a pretty good game. And uh, we are prepared. And that's just how I take everything, just like now. I'm going out there, I'm still competing, no matter what. Even though I am named the starter, uh, anything can happen. So you can never go out there and you know sleep on one day and think that it's all good, think that your job is safe when it's not. Was, when all this was going on, when the uncertainty was going on a couple years ago, was it hard for you not to stand up and say, this is what happened, or I'm sorry? I mean, you, 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 you talked to media day, but you really couldn't say anything then either. How, how difficult was that whole process of just staying quiet throughout all of it? Oh, it's very difficult, but I'm not a guy that, I guess, tells business like that. So it wasn't hard to keep it in. Uh, plus, it was something that was uh, determined for my future, so I wouldn't want to say anything that was going to hurt me. So that was, that made it easier to uh, to keep in. But you know, it was hard going through the things, uh, just knowing the, knowing that I don't know what whatever happens, um, a ruling can you know change the outcome of my future. So that was the only thing that had me nervous and uh, had me worried. But, you know, we're over it now. We uh, got past the one-game suspension, and now we just got to take care of business with our next opponent. We haven't had a chance to talk to you since that rule came out. Was it relief in that moment when you heard one game? <laughs> um, there was a relief that day. But then as the days came up, like during the week practicing, and, you know, you're seeing the guys uh, prepare for a game, and then you're on the scout team, you're taking reps with them, even though you're helping the defense. Then I stayed out here the whole day when they was leaving, or uh, Sunday, when I was leaving to go after we did walkthroughs. You know, the scouts didn't have to stay out here. But I made sure I stayed out here to send them off on the bus because, you know, I wanted to be there. And uh, that really hurted me, just seeing my boys get on the bus uh, to board the plane. Well, I didn't see him board the plane, but to leave and know that they were going to play a game without me. And also, when he got back to the office Tuesday morning, you were already in the film room. Uh, I was here at 7 o'clock in the morning. I watched the film, graded it, basically everything. I watched everything because I wanted to, um, I just wanted to see what happened, to see what could have got done better, what we could have done better, and uh, how could we change this so that it won't happen again. After the game you had up in Columbus last year, and, and obviously you guys didn't win up there, how much are you looking forward to this challenge against Ohio State? Uh, I'm looking forward to this challenge. It is a challenge because, you know, Ohio State defense finished in top ten pretty much in every category. Um, I guess they call themselves the Silver, silver Bullets, and they're a pretty good defense. You can't take that away from them. 
and um, they have some great players over there, and you just want to go out there and compete with the best. And right now, they're the next opponent, and they're probably going to be ranked somewhere in the top ten by the time we face them. So we got to go out there and execute on all phases and just handle our business. Jacory, the last image a lot of people have of you is mm -hmm. what happened in the Sun Bowl last year, the interceptions. How are you a different quarterback than you were back then? I guess that it that, that is true. With um, you know, people only they only remember the last time you was on the field. So you know that's fair. But uh, going through the spring, going through the off season, and uh, going through the camp with this new offensive coordinator and new offense, it's, it's helped me a lot. It's um, just made me smarter. Maybe made me able to be a, a better quarterback. And I feel a lot better going into this situation, going into Ohio State. And um, I just believe that if I execute it the right way and uh, make sure that my playmakers get the ball and not try to make a lot of plays by myself, then everything should fall in place. How you're much of that is just... Wi yeah. You're older, you're wiser. Just talk about your confidence level now as a senior. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a lot of confidence. Uh, probably more than I have since I've been here. Um, I'm not very... I guess I'm not somebody that's going to be you know, arrogant and say this and that, but... I do have a lot of confidence in myself, and I believe in myself to get the job done. And um, I guess the coaches believe in me also. That's why I got named the starter. But um, we're just going to go out there and fight and have fun. How much does your growth and development, how much of that is due to the system, to what that Coach Fish has put in? Um, a lot of it is due to the system, and a lot of it is due to uh, just changing your mindset or just recognizing that this is your last year. Um, this is all I got left. And I can't let my teammates down anymore. Can't um, can't do the things that you've done in the past. You got to do something and find a way to get better. And um, that's pretty much been my mindset. Jacory, what do you take from last year's game? Do you watch that game at all? We were talking to Coach Golden. I know it wasn't a great game for you, but it wasn't all you. There were other people that contributed to that. Uh, of course, you have to watch the game in order to watch film on them because uh, Luke Fickle, he's still there. He was the defense coordinator last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, now he's the head coach, so pretty much going to run the same thing. Um, and it helps you. You see where you made mistakes at. You see where you could have went, where you could have got better. And um, So, of course, you got to watch film from the years before. The other thing is uh, you get your first start at home. Mm -hmm. like it is somewhat of a difference in going on the road. Is that, you know, how happy are you about that? Pretty happy. You know, the last two years, well, last year I got to start at home. Mm -hmm. Freshman year we started at home. So, it's nothing different. It's still a game. Still got to be played, and um, got to go out there and execute. Stephen was talking about the the noise factor uh, that there were some problems with the operations and stuff. So it should help being home, right? Yeah, being home it shouldn't be um, a noise factor here, and uh, you got ways around it. So even if you know our fans are loud to the point where we can't hear the cadence, we just change up a few things. It's nothing major. Ohio State has its issues, of course, with the NCAA the last few months. Obviously, the, the situation here, and that it's gonna, there's going to be a lot of talk about that the next few days. Obviously, mm -hmm. with, it's Miami Ohio State week. Does all that talk take away from the excitement of, of what this game could be, or should be, and all that? Um, I think the way people, I guess, may say it, it, it does kind of take away from it because um, that's all you see. Uh, the suspensions here, the suspensions there, and it kind of take away from the actual game and the players and the fans and basically the history of this game. Um, there's a lot of other things that are involved in this game rather than suspensions. You got, you know, 2001 when they beat us and last year they beat us. So it's a lot of things that you, that we want to go out there and uh, prepare for and, and uh, play for rather than the suspensions. As much as you want to win every game, obviously, as a competitor, just how much more do you want to beat Ohio State? So, like, say, finally, I guess. <laughs> finally, uh, pretty much want to beat them. Uh, isn't it? <laughs> of course I want to beat them. But I understand that it's, you got to prepare the right way. you got to prepare mentally, physically, in order to step up to the challenge. Because if you go out there on the field and, and you know that it was one day that you could have got back, that you wanted to get back, and you don't feel like you're 100% prepared, then it's going to show. What you put on the field on the film during the week, it shows on the field uh, when you step out there Saturday. So um, I just want to make sure that I take care of all of my, all of the things I have to take care of in practice, um, make sure I call the right plays, make sure just doing the little things right so that when I do step on the field, 
uh, next Saturday that I'll be prepared mentally and physically. Shakur, you, 